Hey there, thank you so much for watching. So today I wanted to film a video on another wedding series video. This video is going to be about bridesmaids, proposal, um, gifting ideas. This is what I did for my bridesmaids and I'm actually giving them these tomorrow when I go wedding dress shopping. Wish me luck. But um, yeah, so I just thought I would share this with you guys just to give you an idea if you are engaged as well and you haven't given your bridesmaids or asked them to be your bridesmaid. If you want to try what I did, then let's go ahead and jump right in. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to show you guys these boxes. I got these from Michaels. Um, they were not stained like this. So my fiance, Jesse, he loves to do like carpentry stuff I guess you could say yeah like he likes to stain things and paint things like furniture and stuff and make furniture like a couple of our tables in our house actually he's made like our little nightstand like table lamps and our coffee table but anyway so he stained these for me he actually removed these little locks and um, reattached them for me so then he can get in there really well and he just left the inside um, the color that it was. So yeah, you can get these little boxes from Michaels. That's where I got them from. Um, and I got these boxes like two years ago, as soon as I got engaged. Let me remind you that Jesse and I have been engaged for a very long time now, so I've had time to slowly buy things here and there. Um, so yeah, I got this box from Michaels, Michaels Craft Store. And I'll show you some of the other things that I got. Okay, so I bought this paper crink, it's called Paper Crinkle from Michaels as well. This was like a whole bag of it. I bought two just in case. Um, and I have five of these boxes and they filled five of these boxes to a substantial amount. You don't need to fill them all the way to the brim, just enough to fit, to fill some space. So, um, and to lay, you know, your things on. So I thought this was really cute. Um, Michaels, don't know how much they were. <laughs> Next, I got these little flowers from Michaels as well. They're burlap flowers, um, fabric flowers, and they're little just tie-ons on the back. Kind of like a uh, twisty in the back, you know, like you would twist sandwich bags back with. Um, yeah, so it's really easy. Um, this is what I used it for. Or, I'll show you guys all of my supplies first, and then I'll show you what I use them for. I also got some twine from Michaels as well. These cute little um, mini canvases. I got these doilies. Um, they came in different sizes. I obviously used the smallest size, but I got these doilies to put in the box as well. I got this metallic fabric paint. Um, I actually used this to write the first letter of their name on a mini canvas to have in their little box. And then some glitter just for fun, just to throw in there um, because gold is one of my colors in the wedding. So yeah, also those were all of the items that I got from Michaels. And then I did get these from Hobby Lobby. Um, there's the price right there, $5.99. It's a 12 count of um, bridesmaids cards. So it, it says, I can't say do without you on one. Um, I can't say I do without you or and our big day needs you. Um, I use like all of these a bunch of times. So here's what they look like. I pretty much used up all of them except for the gray ones. This is what one of them looks like. I can't say I do without you and it's in gold foil. They are blank on the inside so you can write whatever you want. I would advise writing whatever you think you're gonna write on a different sheet of paper or maybe on the notes in your phone so then you don't mess up um, and waste a bunch of cards like I did. Those are all of the items and I'll show you guys what it looks like. So here's one, this one's for my sister. Um, it is one of the boxes and I just wrapped it in twine and then I stuck this flower to it. Obviously it's hanging weird because I have it tilted. But yeah, I just wrapped the flower, I twisted the flower onto the twine right there and made a little bow on top. So it looks like a little present. And then I'll show you guys what I did on the inside. This is one of my um, other bridesmaids. Her name is Allison. If you're watching, Allie, I love you. Allison with 
A L I C E S O N. I have two Allisons in my bridesmaid in my uh, bridal party, so I love all of you. It's it's not about who's on here. So, anyways, um, this is what I did on the inside. So first, this was in here, and it's her bridesmaid's proposal on the inside. She'll open it up and it asks her to be my bridesmaid. And then I have all of these pictures of us uh, taped onto there. So I don't have them glued on because I want her to be able to use this box again for maybe her jewelry or notes or just something for that she can use this for on her own. Um, I have some Cabernet in there as well. I have an EOS lip balm. This is the Visibly Mint, um, Visibly Soft Deeply Hydrates. I got these hair ties from Amazon and they came in like, I think there was like 60 of them that came in here, which was awesome. And so here's the, the, um, the little scrunchy paper and then her initials right here and I have them laying on top of the doily and then I actually have a bunch more pictures down below underneath as well. So she has another little surprise on her if she goes through this. So yeah, I just think this is a really cute idea, um, really affordable. It's a good memorabilia for them to have too. And you can even use this as your bridesmaid's gifts on your wedding day. It's really easy. I mean, I think it's just a really cute idea to ask your bridesmaids to be a part of your big special day. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this gave you an idea to ask your bridesmaid to be in your wedding. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. If you haven't yet, please subscribe and I will talk to you next time. Bye.